you talk about, I believe we mentioned this in our last broadcast, the midnight of the soul. Could you, could you refresh mm-hmm. that for us today? Because I think we need it. Yeah, it's the dark night of the soul was uh, the reason I use the term critical mass because I talk about seven stages from the moment you begin to pray for a revival. You will go through seven stages of God's dealing in you. And one of them, about the, near the end, is stage six, which is the dark night of the soul. The dark night of the soul is something that scientists discovered when they were bombarding in early nuclear fission. What they did is they bombarded the nucleus of an atom with a neutron beam because it had neither, it's called neutral beam or neutron because it has neither a positive nor a negative charge. So there's a cloud around the nucleus that protects the atom, the nucleus of the atom. And what happens is when they started bombarding it with a neutron beam, because it's the only one they could get through, they had a theory that if you split the nucleus of the atom, that energy would be released. They, and so they found that right before the atom splits, the nucleus actually goes dead. It, it, it deflates. It becomes flattened. And it seems to the scientists... We failed. Isn't that something? Right before the split of the atom, the nucleus depresses. That's where we are right now. Yes. We prayed, we prayed, we prayed. Uh, the Congress didn't act. The, the Georgia election was lost. The media censored us. More and more and more that there is a despair and a feeling. Well, that means that we are right at the moment when that atom is going to split and the energy is going to be released. That's what happened in the Welsh revival. Prior to the explosion that Evan Roberts saw, he had a dark night of the soul. Finney had it. Wesley had it. Paul the Apostle had it. And anyone that seeks the kingdom is going to go through it. And what did they do? They learned that when the nucleus of the atom seemed not to respond, turn up turn up the intensity of the neutron beam. And that's what did it. That's what did it, and that's what will do it today. 